Today on the Tiger Football Report, we'll review the Tigers' victory over the Phoenix of Elon. Get ready, Tiger fans. The Tiger Football Report starts now. For an athlete, there's nothing scarier than a torn ACL. Athletes trust us with their care and their careers because we're a recognized leader in sports medicine. Get back to your active life sooner with MedStar Sports Medicine. White Market's ice cream plant is based in Sunbury, Pennsylvania and locally owned and operated. We've been making our ice cream for nearly 50 years. We create roughly 70 flavors of ice cream right now. We use local ingredients, especially our cream, which is from our milk plant. The cream is what gives our, our ice cream a rich and creamy texture. Now together with our customers, uh, we've created a, a product called Peanut Butter Indulgence, which will be coming out this summer. It's a peanut butter ice cream with sea salt caramel swirl, and chocolate covered pretzel. How could you go wrong with that? Personally, I love our ice cream. You come to our house at any given time, you'll find at least five packets of ice cream in our freezer. Uh, our kids grew up eating wise quality ice cream and now we get to treat our grandchildren to it. It's been a pleasure for me to be tasting ice cream for over 40 years for Wise Markets and uh, I'm loving every minute of it. Hello Tiger fans and welcome to today's episode of the Tiger Football Report. I'm your host Spiro Marikas. The Tigers were back on the winning side this past Saturday at the friendly confines of Johnny United Stadium as they took on the Phoenix of Elon. The Tigers jumped out to a 10-0 lead in the first quarter and never looked back. They defeated Elon by a final score of 23-6. Let's take a look at the highlights. Snap is down, kick is up. It's long enough, and it is good. Mahalik back to throw. Looking, looking. Pressure comes, rolling to his right. Now stops, steps up. Going to run to his right. Going to fire downfield. Wide open, Summers at midfield to the 40 and out of bounds. Great play there by Morgan Mahalik. Four receivers, two left, two right. Nobody in the backfield with a quarterback. Mahalik getting blitz, fires, has Summers at the 10 to the five, touchdown Tigers. Morgan Mahalik throws a bullet as he's running backwards, about to get plowed under, and the Tigers take a nine nothing lead and score their first touchdown in over two football games. Snap is down, kick is up way up into the air and this one is good so this will be well if you, a 37 if you have a bad attempt. hold then you could be a scrimmage play kick is up long enough and it's good now moves to his left they give it to mcnair up the middle into the end zone touchdown phoenix no the, the tigers are pointing there's a fumble and that they have it they do second down and 10 for the tigers mahalik back to throw Fires to the far side, intercepted, picked off by Chris Blair. Blair at the 30-yard line, running towards the near side. He gets a block at the 35 to the 40, and then taken down by the by uh, Sam Gallahan at the 42. Gallagher from the right hash mark has to angle it in. 38-yarder. Kick is up. It's definitely long enough, and that is good. Mahalik fakes to Simpson, going to throw, going deep, has a man wide open, caught at the three-yard line, and into the end zone, Andre Dessenberg. Aiden two for two today. Kick is up, and he is three for three. Thompson back to throw. 
Looking to the near side, firing downfield. Intercepted by Lyrics Clue at the 37. To the 30, 25. Stays on his feet at the 20 and out of bounds and a flag comes down. Could be a block on the return. Now see, here's where if I'm Elon, I just tell the quarterback take a knee and end it. Or he just run the ball. Well, he's going to throw. Fires it downfield, caught at the 17, up to the 20. And down at the 22-yard line with eight seconds left. And a timeout called by. No, a fumble and the Tigers have it. And that's it. The ball game is over as Morgan Mahalik takes a knee and the Tigers win it by a score of 23 to 6. Redshirt freshman running back Shane Simpson rushed for a career high 187 yards on 23 attempts as he was named the CAA Rookie of the Week for the second time this season. As always, I'm joined by the head coach of the Tigers, Rob Ambrose, and coach obviously Shane with a great day. He also had a lot of return yards. He's now 10th in the nation in uh, total yards per game. All-purpose yards. You've got to be really proud of the way this freshman has come <laughs> on this season. It really has. Uh, uh, stepping into the role like he's had to has uh, uh, been a challenge. It's difficult. Uh, putting a lot of responsibility on a young guy out of necessity. And he, what you've seen is him progress week to week to week. That he's really gotten better. His understanding of the offense. He has a uh, really professional attitude about preparation and taking care of his body. That's uh, something that you just don't see out of guys his age. And then. It's going to serve him very, very well. It, it, your ability to take care of your body when it, you, you don't have an injury helps you prevent injury, and most kids just don't get that. The pros know it, but he's been taking advice from people and listening, learning, growing, and uh, you see it in his play. The whole offense uh, played much better this past Saturday against Elon. The running game was great. Passing game was effective. It may have something to do with the fact that your starting quarterback from week one was back for the first time since September 10th against St. Francis, Morgan Mahalik. Assess Morgan's play, and, and really, that's the first full football game he's played since high school. Correct. And uh, with that being said, you know, sit on a bench for a couple months and then come start a football game and run an offense and see how, how that works out for you. Uh, if I used one word, it would be rusty. That uh, Clearly, you saw flashes of you know, why he was a starter to begin with. Um, he was pretty wise with the ball. Uh, made some really good decisions, but made some bonehead plays, but made made the best out of bone, bonehead plays. You know, he, he blew a call. He, he, we called the wrong play out of the wrong formation, and he knew it, and they blitzed. And at least he knew where to go with the ball, and we scored a touchdown because of it. So uh, rusty but good. And, and uh, there was some juice and life in the offense that you just hadn't seen for a couple weeks. There was some physicality that uh, the offensive line definitely stepped up. I thought both fullbacks played very, very well. And uh, all the tailbacks played well. We spread the ball around a lot. Everybody got a lot of touches. And, and we were in the positive in the turnover margin. And for the first time in a long time. And that truly does make a difference in a game. It certainly does. And, and Morgan was a young man that coming out of high school was one of the top ten quarterbacks in the country. The touchdown pass he threw to Christian Summers where he was – about to get pounded and basically threw a rocket off his back foot shows you that this kid does have a lot of talent. There's a lot of talent there. There really is. And for a guy that's only been in the system for a certain amount of time, he's picking it up, you know, not, not baby steps. It's leaps and bounds. And whatever you see as good now, I can only imagine what that's going to be in the next couple of years. You come out, first drive, you go down, you kick a field goal. Second drive, you come down, you score your first touchdown in over two games. How much of a sigh of a relief was there for the offense that they, they finally got into the end zone? I'm going to tell you that it really was not a conscious thought. That it's not something we even talk about. There's nothing, there's nothing to talk about. Scoring touchdowns is just like anything else. Winning ball games, it's, the, it's a combination of doing things right over and over and over again. You know, the first drive, we're driving down the field like it's nothing, and we shoot ourselves in the foot with penalties again. And at least Aiden can bail us out with a great, great kick. Uh, we make less mistakes in the second drive and less, you know, score a touchdown. It wasn't about that. It was about us executing more consistently and feeling better about that. And if we're doing our job and doing it consistently, we're going to keep adding these points up. You mentioned Aiden O'Neill and his great kick. He had three field goals on Saturday. This is a kid, a freshman, that is going to be a weapon for you for the next three years that, that could be crucial in close football games. It really is it that... You, you, hear, you hear stories from other coaches, and I've, I've walked down that road myself with kickers sometimes, and uh, frustration. And it, you know, it's not an easy thing to do. You're a golfer, you know, to replicate that swing 
when needed. You know, the guys like Justin Tucker are, they're, they're rare. They're right. just rare. So to have someone that's competent, capable, and you can count on consistently to work on their craft, to be good at their craft, and to be called on in an instant and have an answer, uh, to see this at a, a young guy like him, yeah, it does feel pretty good to know that, that that's a good safety net to have for a long time. Unfortunately, another aspect of your special teams is coming to an end in the next two weeks, and that's punter Jake Ryder, who right now is threatening Sean Landetta's season record of 44.7 yards a kick. Jake's up at the 46-yard mark, and uh, knowing Sean, he probably has the numbers figured out. If he kicks <laughs> X number of times over the next two games, this is what he's got to average to get back down. He's probably hoping that the offense, that you win, obviously, but knowing Sean, he's probably thinking, you know, I hope they have a couple of drives that stall out at the 38, <laughs> so Jake's got to punch short. <laughs> but Jake is, uh, the growth of him from freshman year to senior year, tremendous. It really is. It, it, he's a testament to a kid who does it right all the time, who works hard at his deficiencies. He doesn't complain, doesn't whine, doesn't blame anyone else for any of his bad days constantly working on his craft year in year out day in day out and to see the gradual growth that's exactly what you expect to see out of a college football player and he went from being no one just a guy who could kick the ball a little bit to not only is he great i mean other schools are talking about this this guy's a weapon he kicks a football like some people throw it and he and, i mean and he's effective rugby style regular style both uh, and I'm sure Sean is wishing nothing but the best. Sean's had a great career, and if somebody comes along and breaks his record, that only means that this school and our program got better somewhere along the way. Jake could be doing it again next year on Sundays and not Saturdays. That's going to do it today for us for the Tiger Football Report. Join us next time when we preview the Tigers' home finale against the William & Mary Tribe. For Rob Ambrose, I'm Spiro Marikas saying have a great week, and as always, go Tigers.